A very good day to you people. My name is Mohit and people welcome to part 2. Here I will actually explain um, how the fit text as well as lettering.js create what we had just created in the first part. And this is the local site folder, the folder where all the assets are kept. So we have jQuery fit text plugin, we have the lettering plugin and we have the jQuery minified library. And I told you in the last part where from where you can actually download these uh, files and this is the actual HTML file that we're gonna recreate okay so this is the barebone uh, skeleton that we're gonna build upon the HTML5 skeleton the barebone code so let's start pushing in code slowly okay the first thing that I'm doing guys is I'm pushing in a division with an ID of colorful IDs and classes are ways to identify these are identifiers so I'm so colorful is the, is the sentence with four words okay next guys I bring in three script tags opening and closing in the head of the document just after the title which tie up to the latest uh, minified jQuery library version 3.1.1 and you can get it from jQuery.com the order is important next I'm bringing in lettering uh, plugin from letteringjs.com and fit text uh, js.com gives us the fit text plugin so we are tying up with the required files of the prerequisites okay next guys I'm bringing in two script tags just above the body when everything else uh, has been brought in just above the body when all the elements actually become accessible after that okay next uh, I get in I just create more space thereafter guys now this single line <coughs> applies the lettering plugin the jQuery plugin so I'll be using some jQuery some JavaScript from time to time after all what is jQuery jQuery is nothing but a JavaScript library so through this plugin I'm affecting or targeting the ID colorful or in other words I'm targeting this sentence I'm so colorful uh, and I'm splitting it into words if I remove this words inside parenthesis and just have colorful dot lettering parent parent it will split the whole sentence into letters that's the default but just pushing in this words inside the parents allows the sentence to break it into words see lettering is a plugin that helps us with typography by breaking big chunks of paragraphs in two lines words and letters depending on how you use it this usage allows us to break the sentence into words the sentences are already broken into words but what it does is in a hidden way in a subtle way which you can't see it assigns word one dot word one class to the first word dot word two class to the second word so on and so forth I'll show you let's save it and let's take up a preview browser preview here we see I am so colorful if I press F12 and get into the developer tools you can see sp span word 1 word 2 word 3 and word 4 are actually assigned to the the words I am so colorful in the division I with an idea of colorful right you see that guys I 
and so colorful so that's the way in a hidden way word 1 2 3 and 4 classes get assigned which we can't see I'm so colorful okay good enough let's go back next to the division with an idea of colorful or to these four words I'm so colorful I also wish to apply the fit text plugin and in the parents I have one min font size and max font size what do these arguments or parameters actually mean if I just applied the fit text plugin with open and close parents without anything inside without the number one without the min font size max font size actually means that I'm going with default values one is a default what this one actually means this one could have been 1.1 1 .1 or 1 1.2 0.8 the higher it is the more aggressively you are applying fit text the lower it is the more passively you're applying fit text now you don't have to uh, you can actually experiment with these values 0 0.8 0 0.9 1 uh, 1.1 1 etc you know and see how passively or aggressively the fit text actually fills the screen there'll be some difference a subtle difference that you can check but uh, for the moment all you need to know is that you should go with the default one if you don't mention it's always one and min font size max font size may or may not be mentioned in which case it will go as low as possible as high as possible right so at this point let's see whether the fit text plugin has been applied or not let's do a refresh see automatically it uh, tries to fill up the entire width as much as possible it's not, it's not necessary you see it has to maintain the aspect ratio all. it's not necessary that it will fill up the entire width but as, mu as much as possible keeping the you know aspect ratio uh, in consideration as well okay see so you have a responsive heading going on here cool and uh, there's a there's a min font and uh, max uh, uh, there's a min font size and a max font size restriction in place which you can remove <coughs> sorry next next guys I'm creating an array array is a mega, mega variable a big variable a very big sized variable with multiple values and those values are nothing but HTML color names 30 of them 30 different color names right so blue red orange dark violet golden dark gray green so on and so forth cool why did I do that I need to use these colors in the project soon let's see how okay next I am using the set interval method of JavaScript uh, I'll be running a timer which fires every 1000 millisecond or one second inside this I'm creating a function my timer this this my timer runs every one single second my timer let's see what this function actually does I am generating four random numbers random number one two three and four and they will generate all four of them they will be different in all probability they'll be in turn generating four random numbers between 0 and 30 by math dot floor of math dot random into 31 see math dot random into 31 may give you a fraction something like 30.5 something like 0 0.5 and what math floor will do it will bump it down so 0 0.5 will become 0 31.5 will become uh, uh, sorry 30.5 will become 30 okay so it will never be more than 31 for sure and it will be always higher than 0 math.random method into 31 
will always be higher than 0, always be lower than 31. It, sh it should be a fraction in at most times and mass dot floor will round it to a lower value, bump it down. Okay, So, we have four variables, random number 1, 2, 3 and 4, which will say four different random numbers between 0 and 30, including both those numbers. Very good. What do we do after that? Now, we are creating four more variables, color name 1, 2, 3 and 4. And they extract from the array certain colors. So, random number 1, random colors and in square brackets random number 1. So, for example, if this is 5, this will extract 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, dark gray color. If this is, let's say, 2, this will extract 0, 1, 2, orange color. So, basically, now we'll have four colors, four color names, HTML color names, saved into four variables. Color name 1, color name 2, color name 3, color name 4. So, by generating random numbers, we are actually, in turn, subsequently, generating random colors. HTML color names. Next. This is very simple. I told you the moment you apply lettering in this format, lettering plugin in this format, you're breaking sentence into words and each word actually gets <coughs> auto assigned one by one classes, word 1, word 2, word 3, word 4, they are hidden and if you press F12 on the browser, you will be say, uh, able to see that, otherwise you won't. So, th these are hidden classes. And through the CSS method, we apply color name 1, color name 2, color name 3 and color name 4. So, that's the reason why all four words have different colors that get generated, that get changed every one single second because of this my timer function that runs after every one single second due to the set interval method of jQuery in JavaScript. So that's the whole project guys. Let's see the final product. Right, you see that? How beautiful. And F12. See the colors changing every single second. See that guys? So guys, I hope you found this information useful. You have a good day. Bye-bye. Peace.